So if you want to train your own model in Leonardo AI, they've made it really simple. If you log in and head to training and data sets, you'll see any data sets you've made. I actually tested out a basic one earlier with this, but if you want to create a new one, simply go to new data set. Keep in mind, I am using the free plan, so I do have some limitations here. But I'm going to call this one Pexels Girl, as I found a model on Pexels with a, a lot of photos, and I'm trying to use her as the model for this as a bit of a test to show you guys how it works. Quick side note, I didn't just grab some random person off the internet. The reason I went to Pexels.com, because all the images there are royalty free for commercial use. And I'm going to say this one and create data set. You then get this page here where you click to upload your images. So I click here. I have a bunch of images all at the same square resolution of 768 by 768. I click open and you can see we've got a lot of facial shots all kind of framed up about the same so we can really work on getting her facial features into this model. I click train model. Pixels girl, I'm going to go 768 by 768. Stable diffusion 2.1. I'm going to go with characters and I'm going to type in here pixels girl and this is the word I use to refer to the person in this model there are more advanced settings if you go pro but I'm not using pro right now so I'll say pixels and then I hit start training and it can take anywhere from half an hour to a few hours so we just simply let that go and it'll send us an email when it's ready so now I come back down to training and data sets. I can see my data set is finished. Now at any point I can go in and edit this data set. I can come down and I can upload more images. I can retrain the model, that kind of thing. But uh, the next step I would say is I'm actually gonna go into my AI image generation. So now I can go in and type in Pexels Girl as the keyword I use to reference the, the model in question. And I can say angry green she-hulk or something like that just something that's going to modify her sort of natural state a little bit and under the model here i come down to select custom model as you can see i've made some before and under my models i have here the blonde girl and it has an image i've generated in the past there so i click on that generate with this model i have my images here i can change my usual settings down the left but i click generate and wait to see what comes of it. So you can see how it's taking, taking this girl, made her green, giving her that Hulk appearance. And uh, I'll upscale a couple of these and let's have a look at what we've managed to create here. So you can see we've got some pretty decent results, good high resolution images, and it's done a good job of coloring the skin green and creating a really cool effect. And comparing it to the original photos, you can see how it's really carried those features along into those generations. Now, before you train your model, remember to select a size. You want 512 by 512 or 768 by 768. And I recommend creating the images at that size to get the best quality training. A couple of ways you can do this. If you're in Photoshop, go to new, create a file that is say 512 by 512 or whatever resolution you want to use, click create, and then whatever images you're using, just go to File, Place Embedded, choose your file, and place your subject in there. Try to get similar framing for each photo, so that way you're getting consistent information. And then just simply go to File, and Export, Save for web and export that image to a JPEG or PNG and then repeat that process until you have all the images you want framed up at the size you want. If you don't have Photoshop, a good free option is Canva. Head up the top to create a design and custom size. Under custom size, you can type in the size you're using for your training set, create that design. You can then go over to uploads, upload files, choose your file, wait for the file to upload, click on the image and then just sort of size it within that frame how you'd like it. And then you can go to share and download and download a PNG or a JPEG from there, which is pretty straightforward. You can then do that, repeat that process again until you have all your images ready to upload. And then you can have some fun, create some images, get some different effects and play around, see what you can do. You can do this with people obviously that you have permission to like, or that have uh, open sort of royalty free images, or you can do it with some of your artwork. You can do it with objects. Check out Leonardo AO's models and see some of the things people have used to create models in the past. You see there's a whole bunch of different ideas there. 
have some fun with it and um, see what you can come up with. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. That's the video for today. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.